On this episode of RC Kicks, we'll be building this, the 2022 Tamiya Thundershot. How long do you think it's going to take me to build it? Comment below and let me know in hours and minutes and see how close you come. Right, hit it, Charlie. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to say, if you haven't seen the unboxing video for this, I'll put a link up here. Go check that out as it's excellent. But then, then make sure you come back here because this is brilliant too. Hello, English learners. Today's expression is to blow your own trumpet. When you blow your own trumpet, you act or talk in a boastful manner. <laughs> So let's start the clock and unbox it. So instantaneous for you, but five minutes 56 for me. We're all laid out, ready to go. So let's crack on page four, number two. In this video, we will take the car for a drive on the brand new Bugrad track. Yes, I've upgraded the back garden amateur race track and changed the layout. So we're gonna set a new timing board. So first car is gonna be this one.
So we're at 136 and the front and the rear are now done. Uh, yeah, rear, front. Nice and easy, anyone can do this kit. I highly recommend it. It's actually a breeze to build. There's no challenging parts or no annoying bits. It's all very straightforward. All we've got to do now is bolt those to the chassis and we pretty much got a roller. Then we've got to put the electronics in and then we've got to do the decals. So time's ticking away, let's keep going. So we made it to two hours and 40 minutes to get to this far and it's all fully working. I trued up the steering and everything and the car basically drives. So what we've got left to do is the decals obviously, but we also have to do the top dirt plate that also has the driver on it. This is gonna take up quite a bit of time because you've got to cut it out, spray it up, then you've got to do the detailed driver. So we better crack on and get it done. Otherwise I think we're gonna end up being four hours plus. So let's keep going.
four hours and 33 minutes later, you have a finished buggy and it was fun and it is a good looking. It's the best one from the whole family. One little tip for you, if you're gonna do one of these, the decals you wanna fit first is this blue one across here because this blue one here dictates this space here on both sides and that's where you line up this red so you need to get it right but you've got to be careful because these lines here need to be as, as straight as you can as well so it's a little bit tricky but definitely start with this blue one first because it gives you your points to put in this red line and then from there you actually put these in and then these stickers are part of the black line that goes around the canopy so you need to start somewhere that's where i would recommend Apart from that, everything else goes together really easily. One thing that I didn't notice is that slightly different between the 22 and the vintage one is the way that this extra spoiler fits. On the original one, you used to bolt, you purchased the spoiler separately and it came with a whole different mounting mechanism on it. On the reproduction one for 2022, they've actually done away with that completely, moved the mounting points forward and you actually bolt the wing directly to the new body so it is a bit different personally you might prefer it to be more sleek like this or you prefer it higher but there's definitely no way you can mistake a vintage one from a modern one also the decals are 99 percent exactly the same apart from the one that goes underneath this there used to be a see-through and you did the square in blue with your paint on the uh, reproduction one the sticker already is blue with the writing in it Apart from that, everything else is exactly the same. As for my vintage one, well, I thought now was the time to actually go back and fix the problem that had the decals over the protection film. And being that I built the 2022 and I did the decals, you kind of learn from the first one. So I went back and I did the second one. So I did both in the same day. I didn't include that in the time, but I now have both. Now, can you tell the difference between a 2022 and a 1987, was it? I can't remember. But it does look super sharp, but the thing that gives it away the most, like I said, is the rear spoiler. So with this thunder shot, I've decided to do something a little bit different. I got this one in for two reasons mainly. One is to make content and two was for me to experience building up this body. And I've decided there's no point me keeping this one when I've got a perfectly good vintage one. So I did something a little bit different and I went on to the RC Kicks Facebook page and I basically said if anybody would like to purchase this one to get in contact with me and I set a minimum price and I said whoever bids the highest will win this. And the is a winner and that is Paul. He asked me not to say his second name. I'm guessing that's because he doesn't want his wife to find out. But Paul, this is yours and it'll be winging its way to you shortly. All we've got to do is take it for a quick gentle drive around the new Bugrad 2.0. As for everybody else who bid on this, sorry that you missed out, but I will do it again, I think, as I just can't justify keeping more and more RCs. And Rebecca will kill me, obviously, because I've got so many. Hmm. So believe it or not, it's absolutely peeing it down, even though it was 30 odd degrees yesterday. But we need to get the running footage so I can release this video. So sorry, Paul, we're going to run it in the rain and I'll spend the next three hours cleaning the car so I can send it to you. So let's give it a run around the track and see how well it behaves.
Yes, I know the running footage was cut short because I crashed it and I broke the bottom arms. But don't worry, Paul, I have a replacement. I will put it all back together again and it will be brand new. Unfortunately, it's going to take longer to get all the grass out of it. Now, I've been waiting and waiting to release this video and the weather's been rubbish all day after a beautiful 30 degree day yesterday. Typical, just typical. But it did it in... 14.37 and it's wet so it goes up on the top of the board obviously it's not going to stay there so now i've got to spend ages cleaning anyway thanks very much please like and subscribe see you on the next one <laughs>